And commitment 2024, making sure your ballot is counted properly. It's something that we're watching closely this election day. Election security has become a big focus with some voters concerned about the fairness of the process. And our co-anchor Stephen Albritton joins us from the Hamilton County Board of Elections with how officials say they are keeping your vote secure. Stephen. Yeah, Kelly, out here in Walnut Hills, we've seen people come and go, cast their ballots, let their voices be heard. But here in Hamilton County, those officials say a bipartisan group of poll workers actually review the printed ballots and then they compare those to what's on the computer. So they have kind of a two-prong system going here. Every machine that is used also goes through a series of tests checked by both Democrats and Republicans. And Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose says voters have no reason to be worried about someone interfering with voting machines remotely. Let me be clear that voting machines in Ohio are not capable of an internet connection. There's no Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LAN connection, nothing that connects that machine to the outside world. In fact, the only thing a voting machine can connect to is the wall outlet that powers it. And in Kentucky, officials have already been processing absentee ballots to get results in faster after polls close today, 6 o'clock down there in Kentucky. Both the Ohio and Kentucky Attorney General's offices have an election fraud hotline on their websites for you to go and report complaints or irregularities in the voting process so they can go get those checked out. Now, both the Ohio and Kentucky Attorney General's offices have an election hotline, so if you do see something, you need to report it, if you maybe just have a question about something, just give them a call so they can get things sorted out and worked out.